Thanks for reviewing our Google Photo Books walkthrough with us. When you're in Google Photos, you can see on the side here that there is a Photo Books option that brings you to this dashboard uh, for Google Photo Books. They also show you different categories that they auto create for you, including this best of 2018 that we're going to look at. So when you click into the book, it will load the pages and the photos they've automatically added for you, and they've put it in a chronological order that you can scroll through the pages on the side here. So they pull everything from your Google Photos account where everything's already uploaded um, if you're using Google Photos. The title of your book is automatically Best of 2018, but you can change the title however you'd like. You can also crop and replace the cover photo, which they pull up all your options from the photos that they have included in your book, not just your entire Google Photos account. As you're going through the pages, you can change the way the photo is set up on the page. Um, you can also change it to a collage. So when you click on the collage, it will automatically pull up photos from that same time period so you don't have to hunt for it. And then once you have it in a collage view, you can change the layout of the collage as well. You'll notice that they include photos that you may not necessarily want in your book or want where you have them. So you can do the same thing here. You can go in and replace the photo. Um, it will pull up general time frames and you can go to the same general time frame as well and pick what you'd want to include. So I um, swapped out that photo of a cake for a photo of one of our cats. You can also add captions as you go. So you just click on the cat where it says caption and type in what you'd like it to be. There are no additional text options. You can also zoom on a photo. So if you like the photo and you don't want to change the layout, but you want to move in a little closer, you can do that as well. Um, you can swap out really bad photos. You can go in and do whatever you'd like to um, customize the book. So we're going to add a happy birthday caption here. And again, you can see that that text option only gives you the option to change the type, not any customizable um, text options or colors or anything like that. So you can go through all the pages of your book and swap out whatever you think is or isn't necessary for your year in review. And then when you're ready, you can click the checkout button and choose between soft cover and hard cover. Those are your only cover choices. Um, and once you have selected what you'd like, you can view your cart. They have a base price and then they charge per page. So if you don't want to pay that much, you can remove some of your pages. You can also add pages, individual photo pages or collage pages. Um, the back cover of the book is branded with Google Photos. 